Greetings Halo fans and Merry Christmas to all of my subscribers and viewers in YouTube land. Today we have for you the Mattel Halo 11 inch Master Chief and Warthog vehicle. This is a really really cool playset and this thing normally sells for about $49. Well guess what boys and girls it was available on Amazon for $15 and I technically got it for free uh, with a promotional code. So there you have it. Uh, this thing is huge. I mean, it is just crazy, ridiculous big, and it is just fun. Now, of course, these 11-inch action figures are not exactly proportioned like, you know, the smaller 6-inch scale Mattel figures, and we'll see that shortly, but it's still a great toy to have. Something great to customize, to display, to play with your kids. It is just ridiculous, and for $15, you simply can't beat it. So let's get right into it. Of course, you see the packaging, and on the back of it, uh, the uh, bubble card there has the uh, M6 Magnum pistol. It also has the uh, pencil mount for the uh, machine gun, and the machine gun station back there as well. And uh, just really cool Master Chief. Of course, you see him. He's secured in the vehicle. And if we take the box and flip it around... You'll be able to see the obligatory product images. That's right. Those images on the back of all packaging that says, buy me. Yes, here they are right here now. Uh, over on the right, there's just a couple of the obligatory images which display the product features as well as the additional 11-inch action figures that you, yes, you, the consumer, can purchase. And there we have it. We're going to pause the video, come back, and see what it's all about. Stay tuned. We're back with the Mattel Halo 21-inch Warthog and 11-inch Master Chief collectible action figure. Now, you might be saying, Mike, why did you wait until December when this product's been available since August? I'm glad you asked. Two reasons. First and foremost is the price point. The retail price on this item is $49.99, as I stated in the intro, and Amazon had it at $15 as a Christmas special, and I had a promotional code for $15, so I essentially got the vehicle for free. Didn't even have to pay shipping on it because of Prime membership. The second reason is I have been unable to find a quality video review on YouTube of this product. I've seen a couple of amateur videos uh, as well, some kids reviewing it, and that's, you know, great. But I was looking for something with a lot of detailed information like I like to give in my video reviews. A lot of technical background, specifics, uh on the product and things that I, I just haven't been able to absorb uh, through uh, written reviews on the internet. Thus, here we are. One of the things I want to say right off of the bat, if you're a collector of Halo items and you've been, you know, on the fence about the Mattel products, please don't pass this item up because of its size and its simplicity. This is a really, really great collectible to have in your collection. Uh, for one, if nothing more than just the size of a warthog, it's ridiculous. Number two, uh, the Master Chief. Uh, this figure is completely customizable. What I mean by that is you can repaint it. And I have another uh, set identical to this that I'm customizing right now, both the vehicle and the figure. And I'll do a brief video of those later on. Uh, one of the things that I want to talk about to begin with is the action figure. Now, there's two variants of the Master Chief out there in this scale. The first is a standalone box figure uh, that's sold at Walgreens and a few other locations, Toys R Us. Uh, I believe the retail price on it is around $11.99. That particular figure is manufactured in Mexico and has very limited articulation. It has a different visor on the helmet. It also comes equipped with a MA5B assault rifle. This particular Master Chief figure included in this package has 18 points of articulation. It's manufactured in the United States and has a honeycomb pattern to the uh, to the visor of the helmet. If you can't see that, perhaps now you can. So very transparent uh, material used there for the visor on the helmet. Uh, but this figure has 18 points of articulation. And I'll go over some of those now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, the head, of course, will swivel left to right. He has a waist swivel. Move forward and laterally at shoulders, double jointed elbows, wrist swivel, as you can see here, uh, 
he'll move forward and laterally at the hips and his knees will bend. So this is a very articulated action figure uh, for that scale and, and for the, the type of toy it is, uh, which is geared more toward, uh, I guess, smaller kids and younger collectors uh, versus adults. So it's a, a very fascinating combination here uh, of an item that is made more for play However, it you know has more points of articulation, and that's really the selling point of the figure itself. Uh, now, looking at the uh, the vehicle, of course, the scale of it. Wow. Uh, one of the other things that I want to point out is the design. This is based on the Warthog from Halo Four. Uh, you see the uh, roll cage type bars on the front around the uh, fender area. Uh, you also see the UNSC markings on it, and you see the uh, redesigned roll cage uh, across the top of the vehicle. Uh, if you recall from Halo 3, uh, the Warthog had a solid uh, section right here, and in Halo 4, it's hollowed out with a roll bar. One of the other things that's missing uh, is the lights up here. Now, in Halo 4, the Warthog actually has a single spotlight. This vehicle does not, so there's an option for customizing. And you can see, I mean, the, the vehicle itself is really huge. Uh, the back is flat. Uh, it doesn't have the angles that the actual vehicle does in the game. Uh, but just a, a really, really nice toy. A uh, lot of detailing in there with the uh, dashboard. Lots of options for customization there. On the gun turret, uh, you can see the uh, machine gun up here. It will swivel 360 degrees, as will the turret. Also has a projectile here, so if you mash the button... Projectile will fire. Another great feature about the machine gun is that you can remove it. Master Chief can actually hold this and uh, carry it around as he does in the game. Another great feature. And taking the uh, the Master Chief figure and placing him on the back of the of the Warthog, you can kind of see the scale there. Uh, this does not work with the six inch Mattel Halo figures. Uh, I've already tried that. Uh, the vehicle is just simply too large. Um, but it works okay with these 11 inch action figures. And as far as fitting inside the Warthog, there's no problem with that either. Uh, as you can see here. So it's a really, really fascinating toy. And uh, again, it's not something that I would pass up as a collector. And initially, you know, that's exactly what I did. More so because of the price point than anything else. I really was intrigued by the idea of it, uh, you know, especially since they didn't release a Warthog to scale with the six-inch action figures. Uh, but this is just uh, truly remarkable uh, for a toy of its scale and what it was designed for. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have the Mattel Halo 21-inch Warthog vehicle with 11-inch Master Chief action figure. Uh, it's available online at Amazon.com. It was $15.00. Uh, today is Christmas Day, so I don't know if the price has changed or not. If it's still at 15 I would urge you to pick it up. With a Prime membership, you get free two-day shipping. Uh, that's a win-win scenario there. Uh, as I previously stated, the retail cost on it is $49.99. That's what it sells for in Toys R Us uh, and other retailers. On eBay, it's gone for even more than that. Thank you guys for watching my video. Uh, great shout out to all of my subscribers. We now have 46 of you guys who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them at the bottom of the video. Uh, also follow my Facebook page, Orion's Belt Creations. Uh, you know, I present a lot of the customized toys that I do on there. I also discuss, you know, what's happening with uh, Halo, Star Wars, Transformers, other franchises. Really cool place to, to meet up and, and talk with you guys. Really love interacting with all of you guys from around the world. Uh, it's just so fascinating to meet people from different walks of life uh, who share a similar interest. I'm also a contributing columnist for Outer Rim News. Outer Rim News is one of the leading Star Wars news websites today with over 18,000 followers and subscribers. Everything from commentaries to collectibles to comics, video games, the latest in the live action series as well as the animated series on TV, Outer Rim News, has it covered with Star Wars. So if you haven't already, check us out. Follow us on Facebook and on the web. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Stay tuned. There's more to come.